name is Caleb and today I just want to share a little bit with you about my story of what my life looked like before I met Jesus and what my life now looks like now. Uh, to hopefully encourage you either in your faith that you already have or to encourage you to start walking that journey with Jesus. So I did not grow up in a Christian home. Uh, my first time I think I remember meeting a Christian. I was about six years old and I was in school. Um, and we had an RE teacher which shared this message about God that I, I think I almost instantly forgot. Um, and then years and years later, um, it was about 2008, my parents separated. And just from that, like a couple of events started rolling on where I started to experience problems with mental health as things in my family started to go bad. And as I experienced things like bullying in school, I really started to struggle and I really just plunged deep into depression. Um, and I did not know how to deal with this at this age. I was about 15. Uh, this is fast forwarding to 2012 now. And I, I just had no idea really what to do with my emotions. So I looked to what people around me were doing to deal with their emotions. I saw people who were self-harming. So I thought I would try that. And I got stuck in a kind of rut of self-harming for about a year. Um, I ran to things like alcohol and smoking and a bit of the party lifestyle and it never really worked out with me or seemed to fill the void that I had or really actually help me with anything. It just merely distracted me for a little bit. And even that year I ended up uh, attempting suicide and ended up in hospital and just really was in this deep pit. I just had no idea how to get in, get out of it and I, I felt like I tried everything. Um, I tried all these, these vain pursuits and these these bad habits and none of it really seemed to fill or help. Um, but during this time there was a, a chaplain at my school, a Christian worker, who reached out to me and got me onto this youth camp. And on this youth camp I heard this incredible message about a God who loves us. And a God whose love wasn't just words, it was also action, and this action looked like him sending his son to the earth to fill the gap for us. I heard a message that made perfect sense to me that nobody was perfect that everyone had committed some kind of sin um, and sin basically just meaning an action that falls short of God's design and purpose for us and to me this made perfect sense I'd seen it all around me in the world I understood to a pretty core level that I myself was broken and the world around me was broken but I heard this message that God wasn't a distant God who stayed away from us in this he came in the flesh to the earth to fix this problem by himself living a perfect life free of any sin and in his death taking the punishment that we deserved all of the separation that was that was sown between us and God he took upon himself and died with it and then rose again three days later defeating that and then I heard the craziest thing is that the way that God wanted us to have access to this was not by us working or doing this to be a good person or striving it was just through belief in him and that through that belief we would be changed to be more like him and more free of sin, which was crazy to me. And it was a bit of a false start initially, but eventually I really took my faith seriously and God began a really great work in me. And now my life is completely devoted to Him. Um, there's still many, many ways that I struggle and fall short of it every day, but I have this incredible grace to cover me even when I do fall short. My life today, I am a missionary. I work overseas and I try to share this message to other people so they can experience the hope that I do. Even when I go through hard times, even when I face really difficult situations, I have this hope at the center of everything that at the end of the day, everything will be good. And if it's not good yet, that means he's not finished. Thank you.